Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a Land Rover Defender 110. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Land Rover of Lehigh, Utah, for giving me some time with this Defender. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for Jordan. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 395 horsepower and then 406 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, we obviously have this boxy design as well as the Defender logo front and center. And then popping down below, we have the Defender's signature headlights, Land Rover logo below the Defender logo, camera here in the center, and then parking sensors at the bottom with fog out action. And notice how this is actually painted black. It has a very premium look to it. And putting it all together, the contrast between the black and the silver looks really sharp. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 255, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see with the wheels, they're completely blacked out to go with the blacked out theme. And notice that continues onto the fender flares, which are painted. Same thing with the bodywork here on the side. And even this is painted. And I forgot to mention, these also painted. Um, anyways, mirror caps, again, painted black. You can see the trim around the windows. Some of it's painted black. So when you take a few steps back and look at it all together, again, it looks really good with the contrast. Now, taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We've got this for the lights, and that is to unlock the rear. And popping into said rear, you guys can see it's a swing gate, tailgate, defender right there. And then looking at the cargo space back here, it is absolutely massive. That's one of the big benefits of the 110 is you have a really practical cargo area. We also have this to raise and lower the suspension, so it's easier to access this area. And... Blop! Got the Defender's cool tail lights here, Defender logo down below, parking sensors at the bottom with a recovery point. You can see the spare tire on the back as well. And putting it all together, let me guys think about the design, but I really like this color combo on this one. Now taking a look at the door panel, you can see soft touch here at the top and then also down below. And you got this like sturdy handle right here, some speakers for the sound system too. And then here are the seats. I like the multiple materials on this one. Legroom back here is really good. We also have a little storage pocket. We have vents in the back, heated seats, got a bunch of charging ports as well. And by the way, these seats are actually really comfortable. Got the Alpine lights here at the top. And then headroom, it's good. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you guys can see here with the padding and the exposed rivets. All of our window controls. We've got our mirror adjustments, memory seats, and then you can see more speakers for the Meridian sound system. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. Now taking a look at the front seat again, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side. You can see the pedal layout down below. Parking brake right here and then more of that nice soft touch trim. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch all around and I like the design here with the steering wheel. You got stuff like your adaptive cruise control, heat steering wheel button on the steering wheel, some controls for the center stack, and then you can see the stocks here on the back as well. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster, you guys can see full digital gauge cluster. We can also scroll through to change what the gauge cluster looks like and also see vehicle information as well. And then in reverse, you guys can see we've got the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. You also have the off-road mode and the towing mode. And this is a 360 camera system, so you got that bird's eye view and you can go and see out of the different angles here with this, which I think is great. Uh, one of the best camera systems out there and it does fill in underneath the vehicle so you can see that as well. Now as for the rest of the infotainment screen, response time's really good as you can see. I like how it shows our elevation currently. But yeah, it's, it's really easy to use. This is the smaller unit, but it has all the same functionality as the bigger unit. Now I've got this big control stack here. So you've got your shifter for that eight speed automatic transmission, the multi-function controls. So that's for your seats. You can see fan speed, drive mode select. And then when it comes to drive modes, you basically have a couple on-road modes and then a bunch of off-road modes for all sorts of conditions that'll change the suspension depending on what you're doing. Like you have a water waiting mode, for example, and it'll raise the suspension. Now we also have held descent control and a low range. So two speed transfer case. USBs down below and a little 12 volt there. And then you can see the trim here on the side, some cup holders and wireless phone charging pad, big center console. And then nice padding here on the top. And then you can see the trim that goes across the dash. And then notice the USB there. And then with the glove box, 
Yeah, it's pretty big. And then we've got our controls here for the panoramic center. So here's our window sticker, 2024 Defender 110X Dynamic SE. Um, we've got all the standard equipment. You can see the base MSRP, 72,000. Total MSRP, 80,298. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, do a blast winner, throughout the rest of the rear, which is really good because of the boxy design. You got big square windows and all. And let us set off in the 110. I'm also gonna be reviewing a 130 today that has the, I believe the four cylinder engine. So that'll be quite, an interesting review that yeah that's all i gotta say there um but yeah first off seat comfort's good I, I actually like these resist seats they're very very interesting you've got a couple different material uses on them so it definitely creates an interesting texture but they're comfortable um i still think though my after you know reviewing so many defenders i think my favorite seats are the leather seats that my wife and i have in our defender which are just the base leather um, it's got like the rougher texture on them, which I like. They, they look good and they've, they've held up well. So yeah, that's kind of my take on that. Ride quality is good. Again, the air suspension helps out quite a bit with the ride, just smoothing everything out. And it handles well, again, being unibody construction, independent front rear suspension, also, what the heck is that? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in the video. Let me know if you guys know what that is. I've never seen that before. It's got six wheels, at least. And it's like a van. It's like neon colored. That's just so weird. Yeah, very interesting. But yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's quiet. And you know, not having all the off-road kit like ours has, it, it definitely has a lot less uh, wind buffeting from the, you know, the items that create a little bit of resistance. And got our little acceleration here. Woo! It's not full, full throttle, but yeah, really, really smooth, good torque as well. And again, the handling's good. And something also that I, I forgot to mention the walk-around, I like the fact that this is actually soft touch at the top of the dash. Kind of gives it a more premium feel because of that. So, yeah, they've, they've just done a, done a good job with the interior setup. So, yeah, let's sum things up here with the Defender 110 X Dynamic. So first off, I mean, like I said, ride quality's good, seat comfort's good. And this X Dynamic package, I think this is good if you're if you're not gonna take this off-road. I know it's kind of weird because it obviously comes with a lot of off-road tech. It's not that it doesn't have the ability to off-road, it's just that it has a lot of nice painted pieces that, you know, I, I, I don't think uh, would be ideal for off-roading, if that makes sense. Like you've got nice black painted piece in the front and on the side and everything that yeah, I mean, that's gonna get scratched up so fast off-road, so. This is the uh, Mall Crawler Defender. And as a Mall Crawler, I think it's it comes with a lot of good options. It's reasonably priced for, you know, how this is set up as a Defender. So, yeah, I think overall, it's I think it's a, I think it's a great, great packaging. So, let me know your thoughts on the X-Dynamic uh, Defender 110, but I think that this is probably for most people, this is probably the Defender sweet spot, the 110 and then the X-Dynamic package.